In today's video, you'll learn how to create texts with the writing effect. In just a few minutes, you will know how to create this animation for your videos and totally free. Let's get started. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, we have to place playhead over the clip in which we want to add the text, and then go to the Fusion module. We select the median one node and then add a text. We must click on the text plus icon, Clicking will create a text node and the merge one node to join both nodes. Perfect. Now that we have a text node, let's create and customize our text. We go to the inspector menu and within the text effect configuration, we write the text that we want. I recommend choosing a font that looks good with the writing effect. In my case, I'm going to choose a font that I've downloaded from the internet called Graylight. We increase the size of the title to our liking. In the Layout tab, we can modify the X and Y axis to place the text where we want. I modify the Y axis. I'm going to put the title right up here. Perfect. Finally, in the Text tab, I recommend separating the letters a bit with the option of Tracking. Just a little bit. This will make things easier for us when we do the writing effect. Okay, now I have the text as I wanted. Let's create the writing effect. We select the text one node and go to the effects menu located in the upper left. We open the menu and look for the mask paint, this one here. We double click on it so that it connects it directly to the text one node. As you can see, we have connected the mask paint one node with the text node. Great. This step is very important. We must select the node of the mask paint effect and click on this brush icon up here. Don't forget to select this icon because otherwise you'll not be able to make the writing effect. Our text has disappeared. In order to see the text, we have to go to the Mask tab and activate the Invert box. Now we can see the text again. Next, we click on the Controls tab. Here, we will adjust the characteristics of the brush with which we're going to make the writing effect we display the option Brush Controls. We must modify the size and softness of the brush. If we place the cursor over the viewer, we see that a green circle appears. This green circle indicates the size of the brush. Currently, it's too small. It has to be the same or larger than the stroke of the letters. It must cover everything. I'm going to increase the size of the brush. Okay, it's better now, but just in case, I'm going to increase it a bit more so that it can cover the entire stroke of the letter. It's advisable to lower the softness option since 1.0 is a lot. You can lower it to the minimum, although I recommend leaving it with a value of 0.1. Next, we open the menu of Stroke Controls. Here, we're going to modify the Stroke Animation setting. Drop down the options and choose the mode Right On. Perfect. We already have everything ready to make the writing effect. Let's get to it. It's very easy. We place the mouse cursor over the viewer. It's advisable to zoom in the viewer and adjust the text. This will help us to follow the outline of the letters. You can zoom by by pressing the Control key and moving the mouse wheel. Cool. Once we've placed the text correctly in the viewer, we place ourselves at the first letter of all. Left click, hold down. Do not release the mouse at any time until you reach the last letter. Now you just have to follow the stroke of the letters as if you were writing by hand. Don't be in a rush, take as long as you need. We'll adjust the duration of the animation later, so no problem. All right, once we're done, we see that a bunch of keyframes have appeared all these vertical lines are the keyframes with the movement of the writing animation. If I play the video, we see that the letter is disappearing. We want the opposite. We want the letters to appear. For the letters to appear, we must deactivate the invert box that we have previously activated. Now, if I play the video, we can see that the lyrics are appearing, but we reach the end of the video and we can't see the entire text only a piece of the first letter has appeared. Don't worry, as I told you before, we have to adjust the duration of the animation so that it appears correctly. To do this, we activate the keyframes panel by clicking here. Perfect. This is the keyframes panel. 
Here, we must display Mask Paint 1, and we also display Stroke 1. Now, we'll be able to see the keyframes of the animation, these white rectangles. But we can't see them all. There are so many that they don't fit. To decrease the zoom and be able to see them all, click here above and move to the left. We move to the left until we can see all the frames of the animation. Okay, here are all the frames. Now we have to select them all. When selected, they will appear in yellow. We right click on it and look for the option time stretching. We click. Next, we go to the right edge, click and move to the left. In this way, we will decrease the duration of the animation so that it appears complete in our video. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit because I can't see anything. We have a piece of the animation left out and now we place the animation where we want. We can place it at the beginning of the video, in the middle or at the end. This depends on each one. I'm going to put it at the beginning of the video. Once this is done, as you can see, now all the keyframes of the animation appear at the beginning. It's all these vertical lines here. Let's see the final result. There you have it. As always, here I leave you with the free DaVinci Resolve course, where you'll learn to make a lot of incredible effects. See you in the next video.